Hey guys, welcome back, and this time I'm going to be doing a movie review for you guys today on Fast Night and the Fast Saga. Um, I'm a little bit late for doing this review, and uh, it's like almost like a month actually late, so I apologize for that. Um, but I just had a lot going on recently, like I said, you know, going on vacation and uh, busy with work and all that good stuff. But I uh, decided to do it today since, you know, I had some time off and... You know, all that good stuff. So, the movie's basically about um, Dominic Toretto and his uh, crew and family are basically being uh, targeted by an assassin um, that happens to be Dominic's brother. And uh, they basically find out that he's also working with uh, the uh, criminal Cypher. And they basically try to stop uh, Jacob and Cypher. And that's basically the whole premise of the movie. And uh, it's a really good movie. Uh, I was uh, waiting on this for a long time. You know, it was supposed to come out last year, but the pandemic screwed up everything with the movie releases and stuff like that. So that was very unfortunate. But it finally came out, so you know it is what it is with that. Um, but yeah... Uh, uh, th this one is uh, really good. I know like a lot of people say it's like the worst of the series, but I disagree. It's uh, it's one of the best ones of the series, I'd say. Um, and uh, there's also like a lot of um, people saying that a lot of parts of it are cheesy and a lot of the stuff is just like ridiculous and absurd and and like. Um, a lot of stuff is, you know, ridiculous and absurd, but it's entertaining at the same time. Like, I don't think it's cheesy, but, I mean, a lot of stuff with the cars is, you know, just crazy and ridiculous, but, uh, um, you know, like, the, the, the cars are awesome, as always, uh, the acting's good, I mean, everybody, you know, like, returns, um, from, like, the last movie, uh, uh, The Fate of the Furious, uh, pretty much, like, it's, like, the same cast, you know, and, and, uh, I know there's other cast members that come back, too, but I'm not gonna, uh, spoil that, um, because I don't want to give, you know, you know, a lot of it away, because, you know, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but, um, yeah, so it's great to see, you know, the crew back in action, and, and, um, you know, great special effects, uh, the, um, the action sequences are just, uh, phenomenal, the music's good, um, the cinematography is good for, the, like, the locations of the movie is, uh, really good, and has a lot of good, um, uh, it has good quality in it, you know, like, lots of good color in it, um, and, uh, yeah, it's just all in all great movie from start to finish. It is long, um, you know, almost being, um, I think it was, like, uh, close to two and a half hours, but, you know, it goes by just like that, you know, because there's so much going on in these movies that, you know, it doesn't really feel like it. And this one, um, you know, it doesn't really focus much on, like, the racing aspect of it as much. Like, some of the other ones are like that, too, like Furious 7 and The Fate of the Furious and Fast Five and stuff like that and, you know, all that other stuff. Like, this is another one of those ones where it's not really necessarily about the racing. It's mainly, like, about, like, the story, you know, and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, it's interesting, um, you know interesting, you know, um, continuation of the franchise, and, you know, uh, John Cena plays Jacob Toretto, Dom's kid brother, um, which I was actually surprised that, um, when they announced it, that he was his brother in the trailer, like, when the trailers first came out, like, I was, like, super shocked, um, I mean, like, I did know that John Cena was gonna be in the Fast and Furious franchise eventually, which I thought was cool, because, you know, he's, he's great, I love John Cena, um, he's, like, my favorite, he's, like, my favorite wrestler up there with, uh, The Rock, definitely, um, yeah, he's great, and, and he played the part very well, and, um, I think it's cool that he's part of the Fast and Furious, uh, for franchise now, and, um, you know, uh, um, <clears throat> Vin Diesel's great, of course, you know, Ludacris, Tyrese are hilarious as ever, um, like, two of them, you know, just, like, make the movie flat out, you know, hilarious, uh, throughout the movie, like, um, Ludacris and Tyrese are just completely absurd and 
very like obnoxious and annoying, but also very funny though. Um, yeah, like two of them are like the funniest characters like out of the whole series. It's definitely those two for sure. And <clears throat> you know, uh, you know, like a lot. Of what's going on is just like. Like, it, it doesn't feel boring, like, it doesn't feel like it drags at all, or anything, in my opinion. I mean, like, some people, like, you know, like, might think otherwise, but that's okay, I'm just saying my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, um, and, uh, after this one, there's gonna be Fast and Furious 10 and 11, and then they're gonna stop, and so yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do with Fast and Furious 10. Um, I'm not sure that they started writing it or shooting it yet, probably not, um, but, uh, if anyone knows, like, when they're gonna start filming or anything like that, uh, do let me know in the comment section below, and, uh, that'd be cool, but, uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys thought of the movie, um, if you thought it was horrible, if you thought it was great, you know, whatever you thought of it, let me know, and what is your favorite Fast and Furious movie, um, you can, uh, um, leave that in the comment section also, um, I'll do, like, a question, um, for you guys, so I can, like, this particular video is going to be on, what's your favorite Fast and Furious movie, um, I'd say mine is the first one, because it's just the one that started it all, you know, so it's definitely, like, the, the you know, ultimate best one, um, in the series, um, and, yeah, so, like, uh, it's been, uh, 20 years since the first one came out, and 20 years later, we're on the ninth movie, and it's just, it's just crazy, um, you know, and, and, uh, I don't know if I said it very much before, uh, when I re reviewed, uh, Furious 7 or not, but it's, uh, too bad that, you know, Paul Walker is no longer with us, uh, I wish he was, and, uh, but I know he's, he's looking down on all of us, uh, Fast and Furious fans, and, also, everybody else who's part of the movie, of course, and I'm pretty sure he's proud, and he should be. Um, but yeah, um, great movie. I've seen it twice, and hell, I'll see it again, and I'll definitely buy it when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. I'll definitely pick it up. Uh, if you guys plan on seeing it um, in theaters, as it's still out right now, if you guys plan on seeing it when it comes out to DVD and Blu-ray, let me know. And I'll be happy to hear from you guys. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.